So if I, I would, if it would, if that was the answer, I would have to say my most uh, embarrass, my most embarrassing audition story is all of them. All right. Good evening, YouTube. Welcome to my first Q and A. It's me, Tyler James. I want to thank you all for joining me, and thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me, and for all your continued support. Feel free to hit subscribe. Um, follow me on my other accounts, Instagram and Twitter at it's me, Tyler James. So you guys had some questions for me, I've got some answers for you. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, but as a side note, I would like to have a disclaimer that, you know, I'm not the, uh, I'm not the best uh, public speaker. So you guys are going to have to bear with me and uh, go easy on me a little bit, alright? Alright, questions were submitted via Twitter. So if you have any future questions, go ahead and submit them on there at It's Me, Tyler James, and I'll get you guys in on the next Q&A. So our first question comes from a Mr. James Young at Beyonce's protege. At It's Me, Tyler James, what would you never do for one million dollars? Uh, Mr. Young, there are a lot of things that I would not do for a million dollars. Tyler James does not have a press, okay? So you tell your friends, you tell everyone in Hollywood that this guy has no price and no one's gonna tell me what to do. <sighs> Alright, got a little carried away there. I apologize. So let's get back to the Q&A. Our next question comes from Giovanni Larinaga. Edit to me, Tyler James. We're acting and modeling your career goals since day one. That is a very good question. Um, yes and no. I had always had a creative mindset and big imagination when I was a kid, but I was raised by wolves and spent a lot of time in the woods and kind of stumbled my way back into society um, doing concrete and food and beverage management. And during those years, I never thought acting or modeling were things that I could attain. But in recent years, I have realized that if you have a dream and you have something that you want to do, go out and get it. Don't let anyone stop you or anyone tell you no because I will tell you guys that people tell me no all the time. People tell me I can't do it, I'm too short, I'm too this, I'm too that, um, to do acting or modeling. But it's always been a passion of mine and I'm going to keep pushing forward and I think that's what everyone has to do. If you have a dream and you have a passion, just go for it. No matter how much time it takes, no, how, no matter how much effort, it will take you, just keep moving forward and don't let anyone stop you. Um, so I don't think that answers the question. Uh, there was a yes and no in there I think in the beginning, but we'll just, we'll just go with that. Alright YouTube, sadly we have come to the final question of my first Q&A and this one is brought to us by e.adrian at ebro5. Um, at it's me Tyler James, what's your secret for always staying positive? Love you, never stop hustling. Um, well, Mr. Adrian, as with all things in life, I gotta tell you that there is no secret. You just gotta stay positive, stay motivated, and it's gonna come from in here. All right, so with that being said, I wanna thank you all for joining me. Um, please hit subscribe, support my other accounts, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, at it's me, Tyler James, and I'll see you guys all on the next Q&A. All right, just when you thought the Q&A was over, I'm coming to you live from Greece, beautiful Greece, to give you one last late submission, but because you're a friend and a longtime follower, I will give you this late submission while I'm here on my vacation and get you in. Um, so let's get started with your questions. I'm going to give you two submissions. Since this is a special occasion, I'm going to give you two. First question, if you could have dinner with any one celebrity dead or alive, who would you choose and why? Um, if I had to think of anyone off the top of my head, celebrity-wise, I'm going to go with someone who's alive. Um, I'm going to say Benedict Cumberbatch. That guy is rad. I'm going to say Benedict Cumberbatch because he's awesome. Um, and I'm going to go with two people just because, Mr. Bailey, nobody tells me what to do. So I'm going to say two people. And I'm going to say The Rock. 
and The Rock. The Rock, if you're watching, let's get dinner. Let's have dinner. Let's make something happen, set something up. Have your people call my people. I don't think I have to answer why The Rock is so awesome. Everyone knows why The Rock is awesome. Um, just down to earth, funny guy. I think you would have a lot of wisdom to impart upon me. I wonder if you guys heard any of that because of the bike behind me. But we're going to roll with it anyway. This is probably going to end up in the final film. Uh, next question, we're going to go with... What was your most embarrassing audition story and why? Markel, they are all embarrassing. All of them. All of my audition stories are incredibly embarrassing, um, especially the ones that I have to dance in. And if you may have noticed, I was in a Fifth Harmony music video where I had to dance a little bit and smile. And I must say, smiling does not come naturally for me. I'm usually very stoic. So both of those things combined was really difficult. Um, but really, all of the auditions, all of them I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> it's very difficult, but I keep going. I keep going. All right, so I want to thank you guys again for joining me on this first Q&A. Thank you to everyone who submitted your questions. Submit your questions at It's Me Tyler James on Twitter, and I will get you in on the next Q&A. Thank you for joining me in beautiful Greece. I will see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. All right, I don't, uh, I don't really know what I'm talking about up here. Uh, and that camera's kind of making me nervous, so I think I'm going to leave. I'm walking away now. I'm going to try a little bit of that eyebrow game, huh? Don't act like you're not impressed. Focus. Why is it out of focus? Here we go. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just going to wait until the elevator goes down. Sometimes I have to go in there and I have to dance and move, like, as embarrassing as this just was, watching me dance on film. Uh, it was pretty bad. So don't judge. Don't you judge me on my first Q&A, alright, people? I think I'm gonna go get some food, maybe go get some coffee. I'm a little sunburnt out here. This Greek sun is killing me. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs>